Hey, this is Joe from Head Wraps. Thanks for taking a look at the video today. It's going to be the first step to install your graphic. Um, when you get the tube with your head wrap stuff in it, take your HW84 wrap decal and uh, all the pieces are numbered for you. We're going to start with the chin strap piece on the left side first. Uh, make sure you're sitting down where you can, maybe against the table where you can brace the helmet to make sure it's secure. Um, this piece here, it's going to go right around. If you want to zoom in on this guy, you can see how it's going to lay down right over that snap. Lay it down lightly at first, so if you need to peel it up and realign it, you can. It's pretty darn straight right there. So we're going to put a little pressure on it, push it down, and that's your first piece. Nice and simple, no bubbles. We're going to flip it over. We're going to peel off your second piece here. Go right off the sheet. Try to have as little contact as possible with the back adhesive. And then uh, we're going to drop this guy down. Because I've been drinking coffee today, I'm shaking a bunch. And we put that down right on the side. Again, it goes down real easy and smooth. Take your time. You gotta have a little patience when you put this down. Um, and you'll have no problems. You may have some, but they, they won't be my fault. Uh, the third piece you wanna do is what we're referring to as the skunk stripes. On your helmet, it's laid out. The third piece is the right side. The fourth piece is the left. So, let's remember that they're opposite on the sheet. Fill these guys up. It's important here to see that we're going to have a little bit of overlap over the back of the helmet right now. So one way to install it is just put this back over your thumb so that it's easier and keeps it out of the way. We're going to put this, if we want to zoom in real quick here, this corner in here is going to sit right inside there and we're going to have a little bit of overlap over the back. So when we put that down nice and easy again, we see that there's a little bit of overlap here and eventually we're going to press that down. Now you're going to slowly guide this through right down the middle with a finger or a thumb and nice and easy keep it going straight all the way down the top of the helmet. If you have any problems and you need to realign it real quick just pull it back up and then do it again. Oh, here we go. Goes right down to the front. And it's going to lay in right in there. Sometimes it'll be right in there, so sometimes it'll be a little bit further depending on how you lined it up from the back. And again, we go over the whole middle with your thumb. And then we come down the back. Make sure that we press that extra piece down over here. We're going to cover that later. And then we go over and do the edges. And there you go. Look, check sure there's no bubbles in it, which there are not. And then you go to the other skunk stripe. And you gotta do the same thing. The bonus now is that we have this line here from this part of the helmet, from this part of the graphic. And what we're going to do is take this side and we're going to line it up to here and that will give us a straight shot all the way down on this side. And as you can see, so far we're looking pretty darn good. A little offline there, again just peel it back up take it down. If you got to pull it or push it in a certain direction that's okay. And there you go. Same thing, go over the middle and come around over the outside and push from the middle out so it's even all the way through. Go over it once or twice just to make sure you don't miss any spots. You want to have full contact with the adhesive on the helmet. And that's it. Now you're rocking and rolling with the top. All right, so the fifth piece you want to lay down, we call the bottom neck graphic here. Now on it, there's going to be marks that give you a center alignment. They're really small, they're faint, and they won't show up, you know, 
too much, no one's going to really see them. But there's a tiny little mark here. That's going to help you with the seam that comes down from the manufacturer on the helmet. You want to line that up, that's important. Once it's centered again, right up the middle, nice and easy, then slowly work it to the outside. Make sure you're on, on line. Same thing the other way. Make sure on that convex, concave side rather, that you make sure there's no bubbles in there. Peel it up if it's offline. You can rework that. Put it in here. Same thing on this side. That's it. No bubbles. And if you do again, just like we just did, you peel it up, push it back down. Now you do the second neck piece, which is the top neck piece. This graphic, same thing, it's got a little mark top and bottom. Peel it off, get that lined up just right. It's going to come in on that top piece that rolls in from the helmet and that's going to be all covered as well as just inside this insert and it's important now to have patience and this is where you're really going to start to take a little more time with the graphics because they're going to be a little tricky to install but still pretty darn easy all the templates are cut to fit just right same thing work it down the side of the helmet and there you go right in there perfect